Our deeds will be put to the fire, and only the good deeds done in God's name will remain. Our reward will be based off of that. Man, I love what they're sharing because it's 100% spot on. See, the born-again believer in Jesus, you will not be judged. You will not be. The second death and the judgment that they will sit before Jesus on is going to be Satan and the demonic spirits and people that pledge allegiance to Satan. They're the ones who uh, are in the second death, not born-again believers. The only thing that God will judge for us, not anything to do with salvation, will do what this person's talking about, the things that we've done on the earth. God's bringing his reward. That's what he's doing. And so what he does is, I don't know how it works, but you know, in my mind, it's like we're all hanging out. Can you imagine how awesome that day's going to be? We're in glory, and we're like, man, I'm, I'm waiting. My turn's coming up. And you know, we might look up and go, man, look at all these great things that God has done for me. Look at the big stack. And all of a sudden, it's God's fire begins to burn it and burn it and burn it. And all of a sudden, all the chaff, meaning things that I did that were good or whatever, maybe these things weren't exactly pure or what God led me to do. Though they're good things, they're just burning away. The only reward I'm going to have is the reward for when I felt led by the Holy Spirit to do something and I did it. In fact, it says in the scripture that the things you do in the private, God will reward you in the open. I think a lot of that's going to happen. I think we're going to be surprised in that day too. We're going to think certain people when they get to the front, we're like, woo! You know, they're going to have a reward. And all of a sudden that fire is going to blow and God's going to be like, hey, you know what? You got your reward on the earth. You got all the praises and all the honor and all the stuff people did for you. So, you know, this is what you're left with right here. And it's going to be that woman who maybe she was homeless, uh, who constantly prayed for people crossing her pathway, constantly helped that person in need, and that no one ever recognized her on the earth. No one ever really saw her on the earth. But Jesus did. And maybe in this earth, they suffered a lot. And maybe in this earth, they didn't accomplish treasures on earth and money and wealth. But see, they were gaining something greater, a treasure in heaven. And now that person who had a lifetime here of, a, what, a hundred years of, of suffering and pain and homelessness, and but yet still being led through the Holy Spirit to do stuff, will be in heaven in wealth and glory like you have never seen. So how beautiful is that, that God is going to sort through all of that? And that's why it says the first will be last and the last will be first. It will be an awesome day. We will be rewarded. And I think it'll be the most beautiful moment that we'll ever